What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team vid. Yo, 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 what is going on today? We got a market overview video. Uh, mad simple. We're just going to go over the market, see how you can make some MT, what's going on with the market. Pretty much every day on this channel, we just go over ways to make MT. Um, best ways to make MT, what you should do with your cards, if you should sell now or sell later, whatever. But. Yeah, guys, if you are watching this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, sub if you are new for a chance at winning 10K MT. Just drop 10K in the comments or ask me a question for a chance at winning 10K. So, listen, I know I look like a mess, but I'm getting ready for Red Zone, baby. I got fancy football on today. We're going to drop two videos today. We're going to drop a market video and a triple threat gameplay. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. Now, let's get into it. So, as per usual... We uh, usually talk about Amethyst, so we're going to talk about my boy Giannis. Um, check out his price. Yesterday, he was sitting around 70k MT. He went up about 10k. So if you have him, you made a couple of bucks, a little bit of MT. And it's looking like he's at 72, 70k. So right now, Giannis at 70k. He's up a little bit from yesterday. He was at like 65 yesterday, 67. So he went up a little bit. That's a good start. Um, we actually have Giannis. We have a couple of players. We also want to look at Paul Pierce and Carmelo. Paul uh, Curry went up a little bit as well. So right now it's looking like a must sell amount. It's looking like you must sell your players. Um, I have a ton of Amethyst. I have a ton of MT. Now what I want to do is probably sell my players to make a ton of MT and sit on the silver snipe filter that I have found. Um, it's like something like this. Actually, no, no, no. I didn't find it. Shout out to Logic Looks. I was watching his video on this. Uh, his filter is like this. You put your maximum bid to 1100 and you go 2750 or like 2800 and you just wait for cards to pop up. Anything that pops up, you buy ASAP. Oh no, the maximum bid has got to be at like 1100 or it doesn't work. And of course, nothing's going to pop up in the video. Oh, there we go. So. You just want to wait till something pops up and nothing pops up. Just get off the filter. Try to have this filter. But all right. So also what I'm what I'm saying is so right now with the market, you kind of want to sell your amethyst. This is probably the last time you're going to see any cards be this expensive. And I'm going to tell you why. So on the weekends, no one really for some reason. First of all, they don't drop content on the weekend. So what that means is that. If there's no content being dropped, there's no real market crashes in the game. So now think about this. If James Harden's at 43K, if they drop content, which they're probably going to drop content Tuesday because that's what they usually do. If they drop content, what packs are expiring? Let's check. Um, So it looks like they got rid of the multi-dimensional packs. So those are out of packs. I, I mean, out of the store. And I didn't even know that. So... Let's see, they might drop content Thursday or they're going to drop content Friday. When they do, what happens to the market is it pretty much dies out. And what you have to do is um, try to sell your cards before anything drops. So right now, I'm probably going to go ahead and sell my whole team. I'm going to pick up my MT, snipe, play some domination, just chill and grind. And right now would be the best time to do that because there's packs out. First of all, in my opinion, I think the packs stink. If like, In my opinion, the packs are awful. So... You could sell your amethyst now. You don't really have to worry about the future unless you want to wait a little more, hoping that the pet they don't drop any more packs. But that's also a risk. So you really kind of just want to sell now. Um, we're gonna go over. We gotta go over Durant. We gotta go over Paul George because I know all their prices off the top of my head. Pretty much in market overview, you just gotta really pick up cards for the low and just wait and sell them later on. So. Right now, yo, if you got KD, I will go ahead and sell. He's like max. He's at his like max price. Um, 65K for Amethyst. You have to realize that that's going to go down. So many players are going to pull these cards no matter what. Like, you can get them out of free packs. Like, they're still in packs, these Amethyst. If anything drops, they, their value plummets so bad. I'm telling you right now, bro. So, let's check out my boy Paul Judge. He's going 42K, 41K. Yeah, he's just a must sell. Do you have to think about this? So, Amethyst at 40k, there's no content really out for anyone to pop packs. So, like, you have to realize that any packs that drop just it, it ends up being an automatic market crash. Like, it's guaranteed. Anything that drops is an automatic drop down market crash. Game over. You're taking an L. So, with this being said, like, yeah, I think a lot of people in the game at this point have all these Amethysts off the auction. So, 
And also at this point, you should have a ton of Amethyst or a Ruby uh, free players from the auction. So what I'm saying is like, you have to be selling cards now. Honestly, the only player I will be keeping is Giannis, just because I, I literally, I need Giannis on my team. If I don't have Giannis, I don't win games. I'm not even kidding. He's the glitchiest player. Him and Ben Simmons are must. They're cheese, they're fast, and they just dunk on everybody. You need them in the game. If you don't have them, you're going to take L's. I don't care what anybody says. He's long, he's fast. At every power forward in the game, he'll freaking beat them on speed. In triple, in domination, you literally can just run to the outside, run in, and dunk on everybody. What I also want to talk about is, let's check about Carmelo's price, yo. In my video yesterday, he was at 100k over. He was not at a buyout. I believe he's at a buyout now, which is not good news uh, if you have him still. I sold mine. Yes, so he's still at a 100k buyout. Now, this is very not, it's not good. Yes, there's only five, six up here, but... If you could maybe pick up one for 90 and wait a little bit, I really do believe that he will drop. I mean, he will go up a lot because he's not in packs anymore. Also, I want to talk about the multi-dimensional players. They're not in packs anymore. So what that means is if you have the multi-dimensional players, what happens to their price? It rises a lot. I mean, a lot. So let's check out Jeff Hornacek because he is a diamond compatible player evolution player i want to check out his price i want to see if he went up a lot if he went up a lot i would guarantee you guys you're going to make mt if you bought him it looks like he's a literally over 100k which is interesting wow so jeff horshek's now over 100k he was about 80 to 70k not too long ago same with mj mj's way over 100k so they went up a ton so now what i'm realizing is new content drops try to get him for the low later on sell so there's what there's only uh four jordans on the market that is insane dude 119k um he was literally 80k the other day i wish i picked it up i could be making 50k so with that said off these new contents bro if you see anything like let's say it's the last day the content drops right the last day okay the last day of the week bro this content is on this last day um, you see a Michael Jordan for like, let's say you see the best car in the collection for going under, I would say like 70 K what you want to do is you want to go pick it up and just wait. I'm not even kidding. You could wait a day and don't go up that much. That Jordan two days ago when they dropped the multi-dimensional packs, everybody got one. He was sitting at 80 K to 70 K. He's at 130 K literally two days later. If I picked up five of those, I could have made like 30 K each. I could have made so much MT. I could have made 150k MT clean just off Michael Jordan, bro. Like, for instance, honestly, I'm thinking about picking up Earl the Pearl. If I get Snipe one out for, let's say, 70k, one of these packs end. They end in 23 hours. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This might be a buy. These packs end in 23 hours, bro? So, if they end in 23 hours, that means Earl the Pearl is going to be a must-buy. So... I will definitely be buying Earl the Pearl. This car is going to go up. If he's out of packs, what are the chances he's... There's no shot. Like, he's going to go down no matter what. I mean, he's going to go up no matter what. He's not going to be in packs no more. And there's not even that many buyouts on the auction. So, yo, this might be a snag right here. You have to think about this, bro. If you can pick up Earl the Pearl for 70k, you use him for... Yo, like, that might be a buy right there. We're buying it, yo. Think about it. If you pick up this Earl the Pearl right now for 74k like I just did, first of all, I'm going to sell him for 80 regardless. Okay, if I lose 2k, whatever. This car is the only diamond in the game that you could buy. So, hmm, if he's the only diamond in the game you could buy, what makes you think his price isn't going to go up to at least 100k? You got to think about that. It's a lot of thinking to do, but not really considering it happens to every car. If it happens to Amethyst, bro, what makes you think it won't happen to Diamonds? And especially since he is one car in the collection that you need to get. He's one of the mystery players, I'm pretty sure. So think about this, guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you out because honestly, yo, there's really like it's just common sense, bro. Packs are gone. Players go up. Demand increases. Supply is down prices go up it's just simple simple math i do it all the time that's why i got empty that's why i got a good team first of all i've been grinding my collection level is pretty high and yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video 
Um, we're going to be grinding Domination, bro. We're almost done with Historic. I, I grinded 13 games yesterday. It was a pain, but yeah, man. We finally got my rewards to Amethyst level. Hopefully, we'll get into the Diamonds by the end of the week. And we'll pick up some fire. Uh, my first Diamond player is going to be Drazen, bro. Biggest fan of Drazen. I love him. But yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Because, man, we're grinding out here every day, man. Be sure to drop the like. Be sure to drop the sub. And that's all I got. Peace out, people. Peace.